Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu is a side-scrolling platformer released by Hudson Soft for the TurboGrafx-16 in 1991. There was also a version released on the NES in 1990. Jackie Chan's sister has been kidnapped by a three-eyed wizard, and everyone and everything in China is fighting to keep you away from her. The mice fight you. The butterflies fight you. Even the floating eyeballs fight you. The only creature in all of China that will help you are the frogs, and even they require being punched to give you power-ups. And they'll even try to take them back. Jackie Chan fights across five lengthy stages in search of his sister. The stages themselves are varied, with each holding multiple sub-areas which look and play distinctly. This makes for great variety in gameplay and environments. Bosses are fairly easy. Even the ones who can't be handled on the first encounter have patterns that are easily read and reacted to. The real issue is getting there. The lengthy stages have a long rising difficulty curve. But if you can get to the boss, you are probably fine, even with very low health. Controls are fluid and responsive. Not in all my time playing this game did I feel as though I died because of late or missed inputs. It makes for a very satisfying gameplay experience. Because of these responsive controls, however, Jackie is not happy when you land him in lava. Jackie Chan has a normal punch attack, a crouching kick attack, a limited amount of special moves acquired through power-ups, and even a Hadouken. The life system is presented in a confusing way. It initially seems you get only one life. You die and are returned to the main menu. However, you start with five continues. So another way of presenting this is that you get five lives and no continues. When you die, you are seldom set back a large distance, which makes learning the game a pleasure. Bonus stages can be found by listening for a bell sound. When you hear a bell, attack that area, and the bonus stage power-up is revealed. You can get extra lives from these bonus stages, but they will refill your health and Hadoukens first. This makes the Hadoukens feel like a waste, as using them makes it nearly impossible to get an extra life. The music in this game is catchy, energetic, and upbeat. It's one of the most enjoyable 16-bit soundtracks I've ever listened to. Graphics, however, are lacking. The game's looks fall firmly between the Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Animations are sparse and details lacking. The game does make very good use of colors, however. Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu is an excellent platformer. It's straightforward, no frills fun. It nails the basics, has very enjoyable music, and a satisfying difficulty curve. It's simply a joy to play.